Somebody say boom. Shakalaka. Hey. All right. Looking like it. It's Ms. Rocky at the the North End Update Live. Special midweek edition. Yes, with special guest, Kathleen Dorman from Iowa Public Radio. Yep. And you know what time it is. Boom, Boom shakalaka. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome to our show today. Welcome to Catherine Dorman. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. All right. <laughs> we really appreciate you being here, and I bet you all are surprised because this is the middle of the week. But we did say that we would be here today talking about this wonderful thing that's happening with Iowa Public Radio. So. Kind of an outreach, right? It is. Yes. It is outreach. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get to that in just a few moments. But first, mm -hmm. um, we have to give a drawing because we know that you're waiting to find out who won the special drawing. And we're going to let you know right now because I hear a bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have a special guest. But before we end up, let Catherine draw the ticket. Why don't you tell everybody what it's for? Okay, as we mentioned on our Friday show, um, there are two children's hairdos that are going to be uh, gifted to a couple of lucky folks. One from Kiki Ryder yes. of SOH Microlocks. And she's new in the community, Catherine. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, she just moved here and uh, has set up her shop in her beautiful home in Cedar Falls. And uh, she's does a great job with kids' hair. So she's got, mm -hmm. one, and it's a $60 value because we're including a tip. You know, oh, you gotta nice. tip your hairdresser, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then talk about the yes. other. Yes, and also the other one is uh, a nice hair treatment by Tiani Carrasco. Yes. She is uh, of the name of her company is Extensions. Right. Is that right? I think so. It could be. If it's not Extension, check our page because mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll be on there in the right way. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that drawing, and good luck. We had a lot of names, and Shaviva wrote down the last few here yes. while we were in the studio from yes. Kiki. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're having some technical difficulties on my phone, for whatever reason, for the Rocky and Shaviva page. So if you're rocking, if you're rocking on Rocky and Shaviva page, switch over to North End North Update. North End Update, because yes. Because it looks like we're having some technical difficulties. What does it say, Ed? Just, it's just trying there to we go. Try right. Oh, somebody's calling. It connected just in time. Right? Was it <laughs> Travis? <laughs> anyway, we got a drawing. This is how we roll. You know, when we're live and things kind of go wrong and technical difficulties. You're working without a net, right? There you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Somebody keeps calling. Oh, but yeah. see, there, nobody's expecting us to be live right now. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's subject to be my doctor, my lawyer, my Indian chief. <laughs> Isn't that a jump rope song? All right. Something like that. Here we All go. All right. Get okay, I get to do it? Yes, oh, my gosh. get to draw two names. Okay. Well, I have two right here. All right. Ooh. You guys want to, who wants to announce? Oh, my goodness. This one is Nicole Miles. All right, and also congratulations to Lovely Johnson. <gasps> Lovely Johnson. Okay. All right. Well, great. Lovely's going to get even lovelier <laughs> if okay. you got a child that can um, take over that free hairdo. So. That's right. So our winners are Lovely Johnson and, and Nicole Miles. Nicole Miles. Right. All right. So we got one for each store. Okay. Right. All right, so we'll connect you with them, with your beautician, and see how that works. And who's your beautician? Because your hair is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. All her name girls. is Wanda. Yeah, I love her. She does a good job with my girls. Oh, she does, and I just love the color and everything. Oh, thank it's you. Very becoming. Thank you. As are you, Shavi. But you know. Thank you. You know, I was just going to say, "What about me?" Right? No, you were not. <laughs> no, That's I was not. not. That's me. I do that a lot. Okay, Catherine, let's talk about what you're here for because um, actually this Friday we're going to have Abraham Funches, and this is kind of a topic that we're going to talk about. I know you're actually trying to increase your African-American viewers if you just said it out loud like that, right? Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So we're glad you're here and yeah. reached out to us and also with Sharita. But the other thing I wanted to mention is that our show this Friday is going to kind of 
help us bridge those gaps um, with other cultures when we talk to Abraham Funches from the Human Rights Commission. Yes, as far as um, pronouns yeah. and you know how people want to or like to be identified because generally speaking no one wants to cause offense or is just mindless but sometimes you just mm -hmm. don't know. So. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what do you, what's the big plan? Well, we're holding, um, we're planning listening sessions around the state as part of Iowa Public Radio because we recognize that we haven't always done a great job of um, telling the stories of certain communities around the state and including those voices in the stories that we do um, for Iowa Public Radio. So this is an effort to really sort of build some bridges, as you said, and um, to meet people in the community and to hear about um, the stories that can be told from Waterloo. And so we'd love it if people would come to our listening session and meet um, some of the people from the news department, including a new reporter that we've hired to cover Waterloo in now, Cedar Falls. What, what sort of thing happens at a listening session? At a listening session. So we've had a couple of these around the state. And generally speaking, what happens is we start by talking a little bit um, in pairs about things that are happening in the community. Who are some people that um, other people outside of the community should know? Um, what are some things that Waterloo is proud of? What are some things that um, may be challenges that need to be addressed? Um, and so we have those kinds of conversations. And then at the end, we sort of bring it all together, put it all up on a big board so that we can look at it and see if there are themes that we can address. And then those are the kinds of things that a reporter can then you know, they have names to go and talk to people. Mm. They have connections made um, so that they know what issues are circulating in the community and what people are concerned about. Mm, good okay. looking out. All right, I am really happy for you to be here to, to make that clear because we have mentioned on perhaps the last three shows that there was going to be, you know, a oh, listening yeah. session, yeah, but we didn't really so know what to say other than, oh, it's going to be a listening session, so that, that clarifies things quite a bit. Thanks. Yeah, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can actually document some history, and now that I'm thinking of it, um, you know, more, more organizations are reaching out in the same way. We had, we just experienced Grout Museum, who's um, yeah. doing a great job of representing African American history and local stuff with yeah. the uh, Black Stories Collective. Yes. So we're excited to see that this is a movement and it's steady going uh, in the right direction. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We recently took a tour of that, actually. Oh, you saw the exhibit. We great did. artwork. Yes, we did see the great artwork. Shall we applaud for yes, Shaviva? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Thank you. For Shaviva. Thank you. Shaviva <laughs> does marvelous work. Yeah. Yeah. And again, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Jennifer. Uh, no, we're Catherine. not Catherine, Catherine Dorman <laughs> from Iowa Public Radio, and yes. we are having difficulty on the Rocky and Shaviva page. So maybe switch over to North End Update. All right. So talk about the venue now. Where in Waterloo is um, Iowa Public Radio located? Do you have an office here in Waterloo? We or? do. We have, we have um, studios actually in Cedar Falls on okay. the University of Northern Iowa campus. Okay. Iowa Public Radio has, um, before it was formed as a statewide organization, it was separate stations that were based at each of the Regents Universities. So the Regents Universities held the licenses of those stations. And recently, after the formation of Iowa Public Radio, which is um, a not-for-profit organization that was created to run those radio stations, um, the universities decided that maybe they didn't want to be in the radio business anymore. Oh, okay. So they have actually turned those licenses over to us, and we have now become a community licensee. Okay. So um, we we hold the licenses to the stations now, and um, but we still have the facilities on each of the university um, campuses. So we're in the Communication Arts Building at the yes. University of Northern Iowa. Where KU and I. Exactly, KU and I. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah, that's our station. We've had a couple interviews with Charity. Yes. There, yeah, and yeah. we just love Charity. Nebby, and thank you. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Nebby. She's wonderful. Yes. yes. She is. And Bob Dorr, I saw that Bob Dorr oh, had Bob been on your show, yes. show as well. Yes. Yeah, he said he felt like the only man on The View. I saw yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> he was so much fun. We got you know, even got a couple of uh, selfies with Bob Dorr yeah. at different performances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But talk about um, the 
other places that you've been? You've been to West Liberty and mm -hmm. Des Moines. Mm -hmm. um, where else? Uh, well, we're getting ready to go to Fort Dodge this coming Friday. We're going to be up there, um, and we're going to be going to Storm Lake a little bit later on in September. Um, and we've been to West, um, I, did I mention West Liberty in Des Moines already? Yes. We went to West Liberty, okay. yeah, in Des Moines. Um, so we're very excited. We've been having some really good conversations with people and making good, conver um, good connections, I think, with our reporters and hearing about what's important to people. So, okay. Well, yeah. good. No, and I was going to say, could you please um, make sure that you, since we've been saying, oh, this is happening, Date, date and time and, time. <laughs> and location <laughs> so that. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be at the 1619 Freedom School, um, which I should have memorized the address for, but did not before I oh. <laughs> sat down with you all, so I'm sorry. Um, but we will be, uh, and I'm, I don't know exactly what the time is. We usually start at about 5 or 5.30, mm -hmm. but it will be on September the 14th. Okay. So and we would love to have it. a Thursday. It's a Thursday. Yes. So we've got a little bit of, of time between now and then to yes. nail down those details as far as the time. A lot of people are familiar with the location of the 1619 Freedom School. It's a very, it's a nice facility. It's beautiful right. and um, really conducive to what you're talking about yeah. doing so. Conversation. Yes, yes, and it's right on Park Avenue. And it's it the is. Masonic Temple for those Waterlooans mm -hmm. that have oh, been okay. here. I mean, it's the old Masonic Temple that is being repurposed and reused, mm -hmm. so, which is wonderful. Great location again. All right, well, thank you so much, Catherine, oh, for Oh, thank you so much for letting me come and talk about it. I oh, appreciate so it so welcome. much. And we're going to keep talking about it until September 14th, and then should be, but we'll have to stop and see if we can't go to the listening session. I hope oh, you both will come. Yes. We would love that, yes. absolutely. All right, folks, and look at there. There's Agnes helping out again. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. That's my email address, so if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Agnes, and thank you so much, Ed, for you guys. They welcomed us into the studio they today. Did. It's not mm -hmm. a Friday. So nice. Okay. <laughs> but we want to inform you guys that the Boom Shack Alaka is going to be real, Shaviva. Yes, and thanks everybody who did join us today to get this information. And you know you're going to see us on Friday at what time? Boom, Boom shaka laka o'clock. Definitely. <laughs> oh, right. And then we're going to have yeah. Abraham Funches mm -hmm. as well as Jennifer Onigbo yes. come and talk to From us. From Gallagher Blue Dorn Performing Arts Center. So that should be a lot of fun. Yes, yeah. it will be. Well, thank you for watching. Ed, can we get you to sign us out? <laughs> Thank you. We don't have our intern.